okay? I have five valence electrons equals, there's iodine, it's in column seven. Fluorine, there's five of them in column seven. That's 35 plus seven, what's that? 42? Okay, a lot of electrons to deal with here. What's the one in the middle? I, how do you know that? Right. Because it's the first one, and when you see one and then a list of other ones, the first one's the one that's in the middle. I, two, three, four, five. There's my skeleton, let's draw the bonds. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Okay, I've got 10 of 42. Let's go to my terminal atoms. 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36, 38, uh, 40. Uh oh. Where do I put that last pair of electrons? I have I counted 40 of 42 so far. Yeah, if you're ever over and you've run out of places to put it, you put it in the middle. You're going to notice here what breaks the octet rule. Iodine, that's going to be true in general, that anything larger than neon can break the octet rule, meaning have a larger, more than an octet. Okay? So it's called an expanded valence shell. Meaning anything. Aluminum, silicon, phosphorus, selenium, arsenic, all those down there can all break the octet going over it. They can't go under it, but they can go over it. And iodine, it's because it gets bigger and bigger as you go down the periodic table, the radius increases. So it can fit more stuff around it. Things like carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, fluorine, they can't break the octet. They're too small. And so you can't fit too many electrons around them. But uh, actually, as it gets bigger, you can. So iodine here is really going to bust out and break that rule. Okay. Otherwise, do all the fluorines have an octet? Yeah. What's, all the fluorines are equivalent. So what's the formal charge on the fluorines? Zero. zero, yeah, it's in column seven, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Count seven, it's in column seven, formal charge zero. How about iodine? Seven. It's also going to be zero. It's in column seven, you count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Formal charge. Notice, so that's really good, that formal charge is zero. And the overall, the sum of the formal charges is zero, which is the same as the overall charge of molecule. And there's only one way to write that, right? Uh, yeah, and that, this is the only way to do it. If you tried to, you always want to make things compact. Sometimes students will do this. I, F, 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 all this. It's not going to work. You're going to get funky formal charges that are not zero. So you usually want to make something compact if there's a lot of atoms involved. Um, and this will have six things around it. We're going to learn this is called an octahedral shaped compound once we get to Vesper.